20 reasons why you should roll for Kamisato Ayato. Number one, he has a really low skill ceiling. And when I talk about skill ceiling, I'm talking about the amount of skill needed to fully master a character. And for Ayato, he's pretty much one of the easiest characters in the game to play. Not to mention that his skill set is not even that hard to pilot. So if you really want such an easy character to play that still outputs a lot of damage, why not roll for Ayato? Number two, he is not constellation reliant. So for most DPS characters, having good constellations and higher constellations will drastically improve the strength of the character. However, for Ayato, just getting one single copy at C0 is pretty much good enough for him and will really last you all the way. Although his constellations are a good improvement for him, it is not needed at all and an F2P player can do a lot of damage with just C0 Ayato. Number three, he has become even stronger with Dendro. Previously, when there was no Dendro, people be like, oh, Ayato is similar to Tartalia and similar to Chal. However, now with Dendro, Ayato even outperforms Chal in my opinion in terms of Hyper Bloom and Bloom reactions. Therefore, if you want to join the Dendro hype train, you should definitely roll for Ayato. Number four, he likes Boba. Number five, he has great on and off field damage. When I'm talking about on and off field damage, I'm talking about Ayato's skill and Ayato's burst. You can play him as a on field damage carry, so your main DPS, or you can play him as your sub burst DPS because his burst does hydro damage, applies hydro, and on top of that also increases the normal attack damage of your characters in his burst. Therefore, whatever the case is, Ayato is such a flexible character to have. Number six, he's a decent enabler. So similar to Tartalia or similar to Sucrose and Scaramouche, he's such a great enabler, especially for your sub DPS. For example, you can play him in a national team with Shang Ling and Sing Chu, or you can also play him in a taser team with Fischl and Beidou. Regardless to say, he's such a great character that can enable your sub DPS to do much more damage than usual. Number seven, reiterating the point of decent enabler, he can be played in many comms. I think one of the most famous comms right now is the Ayato Hyper Bloom with Kuki Shinobu. However, traditional comms, like I said earlier, National Team, Vaporize, and Taser teams also work really well for Ayato. And this is such a good thing for him, especially in Spiral Beast, where you're trying to play your characters and you're trying to suit your characters for different chambers. This is where Ayato plays a big part because you can pretty much put him with a lot of different characters and it will work out. Number eight, this is his first rerun in eight months. So it has been literally almost a year since Ayato has came out the first time. So if you really want Ayato right now and you really feel like you need a decent Hydro DPS, now is the time to pick up Ayato. Number nine, he has low ER requirements. Contrary to most DPS who need their burst to do damage, Ayato on the other hand doesn't need that much ER. You can just run a normal battery. For example, if you're going a taser team, you can run Fischl. Or if you happen to have a second Hydro character like Sing Chu or Yelan to battery Ayato, that's completely fine as well. However, Ayato himself can sustain his burst for himself because of his passive. Because of this, you don't really need much ER. In fact, maybe 130% is completely fine for you and it's more than enough. So because of this, it makes your building of Ayato and your stats requirement not that high, especially for free-to-play players. Number 10, he has many great artifact options. In fact, the best in set for him is the Heart of Death, 4 piece or 4 piece Glad works well for him as well. However, you can go ahead and mix and match HOD with 18% attack sets. You can also run the 4 piece Blizzard Trader if you're going a freeze build, just to say that Ayato has so many great options that you don't have to spend much resin farming artifacts for him because he can use whatever you have and he'll still make it work. Number 11, on top of the many artifacts you can use, he has so many great weapon options as well. Obviously, his best in set is his signature weapon or the PJC are both pretty much equal. Any 5 star weapons are really good for him. Some notable 4 star options are the Black Sword and Lion's Roar, especially in a Taser team, but you can use any DPS 4 star sword on him and it will still work really great. Harbinger of Dawn, if you can keep the passive up, is also great for Ayato. Number 12, he's the head of the Ayato clan and having such a prestige name, I think it's just really cool. Number 13, he has amazing sustained damage. So what I mean by sustained damage, most DPS, their damage is in a short period of time, maybe three to four seconds. For Ayato, it's a pretty long time, especially when you're rotating his normal attacks in his E form and when you're using his burst. Pretty much, he's always doing damage no matter what you're doing with him. So because of this, his DPS is constantly there and he's just constantly doing damage where he's on or off field. So if you want a character that can do that, why not roll for Ayato? Number 14, he has great AoE damage. I think this one is very overlooked because his auto attacks in his E form actually slashes things 
in front of him instead of just one person. So take note, especially when you're playing against a group of enemies, you can group them up and Ayato will slash all of them at the same time. Prison number 15 to further back up what I said, he has great multi and single target damage. I think this is very important. People might just say that, oh, he's great in groups of enemies, but he also does a lot of damage to your bosses. So no matter what situation he's in, Ayato still does the damage that he's needed to do. Number 16, he has a crit damage ascension stat. Now this is super good, especially when you're trying to get that sweet 1 is to 2 crit ratio. This makes your artifact building and artifact farming so much easier because now you, all you have to do is focus much more on crit rate and the crit damage will come based on your levels. Number 17, he has a really good VA Akira Ishida. I've asked many people who why they rolled for Ayato before and a lot of people said that the VA is really good. So if you really like the VA, why not roll for Ayato, the character he voiced in Genshin Impact. Number 18, he has a decent team comp with Sister. So if you have Ayaka, you can actually go a freeze team with Ayato Ayaka duo. This is actually a really mean team, but it still gets the job done. You freeze your opponents and Ayato's burst, by the way, is AoE. So compared with Ayaka, you're able to freeze a lot of enemies at the same time. Number 19, he has a HP scaling. Now, I know this is really small because the scaling is not that much. So people will be like, they're just overlook it. However, small scalings like this makes it that you're not wasting any stats that you level up. Sometimes when you level up an artifact, you might get a little bit more on the HP than crit or HP than attack than desired. Even in that case, Ayato still makes use of this quote unquote useless stats that you might not need and will convert it to damage. Even though it's very little, these things really add up eventually and will play a big part, especially in your Sparrow Beast runs. And the final reason why you should roll for Ayato, the 20th reason, is basically he's such a resin efficient character. Like I said, he can use many of your artifacts. He can use most weapons in the game, especially DPS weapons. And in terms of artifact building, you don't have to worry too much because he pretty much uses a lot of stats, whether it's attack, crit, ER, or HP. He's able to use all these stats and do so much for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like videos like this, please do leave a like. It shows me I should do more. We're going to be doing a 20 reasons to roll for Rider Shogun next, so stay tuned for that. Comment down below if you'll be rolling for Ayato or Rider Shogun or whether you'll be saving for the future banners and subscribe if you like videos like this. We'll be doing more in the future. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.